been getting a lot of questions about how to send Drosser pollen or store it. So I'm going to show you guys how you just use some printer paper or actually preferably some craft paper, some acid-free paper. And you want to use a small portion, which you'll see in the next uh, little clip here. So I folded the paper and you might even want to go smaller. Here's my hand for reference. And the reason you want to go small is you want the pollen or the anthers to stay like in a fixed state. You don't want them to move around a lot. I find that if the anthers have a lot of room to move around that they disperse the pollen and it's a lot harder to work with. Whereas if you can get it in a tiny spot it's better because it's concentrated and it's more usable. You can see that I just cut out the little square that I folded out of the paper and I'm going to just stick my anthers in there and I'm going to try to get them right all in the center. So let me harvest those really quick. So you can see I just harvested these anthers and I'm trying to put them in the center of this paper. It doesn't have to be exact at first, you can just put them there. This is a, one of my plants, Drosser capensis. I'm just sort of doing this demonstration for a friend. So you can see they're in the center there. If you can even get them closer to each other, it's going to be better. You're going to have better access later. So try to get them in the middle as much as you can. This is probably adequate. And then the way you're going to fold the paper actually matters, so Let's see if I can do this with one hand or not. So you take paper and you want to fold it in half. And you kind of want to remember where the anthers are. So they're right in the center. And you're going to fold the two sides of the paper in, just like seed packets from Aaron May's video on YouTube but you want it so the anthers have almost no space to move around. So you're gonna fold it right where they are in the center so they can't move from side to side. So hopefully that'll be clear in the next little clip here. Okay, so hopefully you can see that I've just taken these and I folded them. And if you hold it up to light, you can kinda hopefully maybe kinda still see the anthers in there. It's hard to tell if, I can, if you can see it or not but they don't have a lot of room to move and adjust where their pollen is, so it's all gonna be concentrated in the middle like that. All right. So for my next folds, I'm just gonna make this a sealed little container that is portable. So to do that, I'm gonna take these long wings and just fold them in half as many times as it takes because they don't really matter. It's just to seal it and then I'll go ahead and take these wings once they're sufficiently short and I'll pull them over each other that just that way you're making a a bit of an envelope here okay kind of sloppy but you can see the wings have become these sort of condensed just little arms now and I'll be able to fold them both in on themselves to make this little packetized cylinder and remember the pollen is in the bottom here so Next step is I'm going to pull the top over the bottom, just like this. So down like that, and then there's this little bit of overhang here. I'm just going to stuff this overhang into this pocket. I can't do that, so I'm going to pause and you can see it again. So I just took that remaining little sliver and I folded it down into the packet and now it's a little self-contained unit. And the anthers don't really have a lot of ways to move around in here, so the pollen will be concentrated, hopefully. Much easier to use. Don't use anything like plastic, because the moisture inside the anthers can propagate to the pollen and cause mold and just unusable pollen when it gets to me or when you decide to use it and pull this out of the fridge. So I would leave this for a day or two especially if you live in uh, somewhere where it's really humid. You just want this paper to dry out the anthers. Uh, once that's done, the pollen should all be sh uh, easily sheddable. You can use a small paintbrush, or you can attempt to use tweezers. It just depends on what the state of the pollen is. If it's all fallen off the anther by then, you want to use probably a tiny paintbrush. If the pollen is still, it's ripe, but it's attached to the anther still, 
I would recommend using some tweezers to try and pick up what remains of the anther and s scrape it and spread it onto the uh, onto the stigma of your female or your seed parent. All right, I think that I think that covers everything. Uh, make sure you label this, whatever it is, label it clearly so and date it because if you're just using the fridge, I would expect this to last maybe a month or so. Um, if you're using the freezer, I'm not sure. I haven't experimented with that very much. Anyways, thank you.